What's up everyone, in this video we will cover OneDrive versus Dropbox. So without wasting our time, let's get started. OneDrive is more for personal usage, while Dropbox is focused on Teams. OneDrive gives you 5GB of storage and the software can be installed on desktop PCs as well as mobile phones. It works with office apps to write and share documents online. The mobile version of OneDrive comes with an option called Camera Upload, which automatically uploads the media as you go. But 5GB is not enough if you want to upload Full HD images and videos. Dropbox on the other hand offers 2GB of storage and the app can be installed on desktop and mobile phones. Like OneDrive, Dropbox also offers to upload photos automatically, but again 2GB is not enough. Compared to OneDrive, Dropbox offers more features in the premium version. We will take a look at the pricing later, but first let's look at the technical aspects of both. Regarding playing videos, I would go in favor of OneDrive. Well, both are pretty fast to be honest, but after testing a few videos on both, I concluded that OneDrive is faster than Dropbox in terms of playing videos. Both select the quality of the video automatically depending on your internet connection but there is a setting option where you can change the quality yourself. Both can preview many types of files such as zip, photos, videos but OneDrive can't preview RAR files whereas Dropbox can. Dropbox has also been working with Microsoft and Google simultaneously to implement Google Docs and Microsoft Office apps in Dropbox. Dropbox offers both Google and Microsoft Office apps for free. If you want to save personal files then OneDrive is for you. The app comes with a folder called Personal Vault where you can save your personal media. The folder can only be opened via two-step verification and it automatically logs back in 20 minutes. Now if you are a YouTuber or thinking about uploading very large files then OneDrive is for you because OneDrive offers to upload a file of maximum of 100 GB. Whereas Dropbox only offers to upload files of up to 50 GB. Moving to platforms, as discussed both are available on desktop and mobile phones including Windows Phone. But both are also available as progressive web apps, also called PWA. PWA takes less space than the actual desktop apps and these apps use your browser to show the interface. To download PWA, you can go to dropbox.com or onedrive.com in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and in the address bar you will find a little icon called install this app. On Microsoft Edge you can go to the right side menu where you will find apps and under apps you will find an option called install this app. Anyway let's talk about apps. Now this round is about Dropbox because the service comes with third party apps to install with your account. For example, installing Canva can help in editing images and creating infographics on the go. Both offer a recycle bin and show the total and remaining storage. When you create a new folder, OneDrive shows a little icon on the top left of the folder to highlight in the crowd, whereas Dropbox opens the folder when you create one. The final section is about pricing. OneDrive offers 100 GB of storage for $2 per month. Now if you want more storage then you can pay $7 per month which gives you access to 1 TB of storage and you also get access to the office apps. Dropbox contrarily comes with individual and team plans. The plus plan offers 2 TB of storage for $10 per month. You get access to smart sync, document scanning and a lot more. The professional plan costs a few bucks extra and you get extended storage and a few more features. You can't choose location for your data unless you have the business plan and you have more than 50 team members in your plan. The team business plan offers 5 TBF storage per user and it costs about $12 per month if you subscribe to the annual plan. Well, there are many benefits of using both, but the features I mentioned are probably enough for you to choose the ultimate app. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope the video OneDrive vs Dropbox helped. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you and take care.